Hey, Avery. Hey, Mama. Got your babies out playing this morning? Yeah. <laughs> Potato's such a good mama. That potato chicken is a good mama. She is. Those babies are so pretty. I love all the different colors. Aww. Oh, they're starting to get their uh, little bit bigger feathers. Yep. No, I don't have a treat for y'all. No, I don't have a treat for y'all. This one's the oldest. That one's the oldest? Yeah, this one right here. How do you know it's the oldest? Because its feathers are the most grown out. Oh, it's just further developed along. And uh, the, I knew that one of the black ones were hatched first, mm -hmm. and so I can tell by that one is further along. Mm -hmm. Yep. I like that um, Americana looking one. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's just a. Uh, maybe it's just got the silver lace wine dot in it. That's why it looks yeah. like that. I don't know. But. Well, um, the. Yeah, the black ones are silver lace wine dot mixed with um, Rhode Island red. Yeah. And then the uh, gray ones are Americana mixed with. Rhode mm. And that one's a mystery. That was a mystery. Yeah. But it's pretty. I want it to be a girl. That one's yeah. pretty. And I'm pretty sure that this one hatched last. Oh. I think yep. that one's a girl though. Look how short its wings are. Mm -hmm. And the uh, dark Yeah, gray I think one you're right. Yeah. Longer. Um, one of them hatched like a little bit late, right? Like you had to worry about it and help this it a one, little bit. This one I helped hatch and yeah. this one hatched a little late. Oh, but it made it. It's just fine. It's healthy. Yeah. And this one's just tiny. <laughs> I think it's a girl. I hope so. So yeah, prepare your heart because we have to find new homes for all the boys. Yep. And that lately they've been, their uh, cage has, like, crickets will come into their cage. Oh. And they, the mama teaches them how to hunt them down. And it's, it's really funny. Good job, mama. Teach them how to forage and hunt yep. for crickets. Yeah. I'm not sure what they find so appealing about soaking their feet in water, but they sure do love to just stand in a water while I'm refilling it. <laughs> the turkeys will always just stand and soak their feet. Must feel nice. I guess they want their feet cool, but I'd dunk my whole body in it if I were you, Tater. I really would. I know that probably feels good on your feet. It's kind of like when a, when somebody goes to the beach and soaks their feet in the waves and puts their legs in the water. It feels good, but man, I would jump right in. I'm telling you, it's hot. And this one, Captain, that I'm pretty sure is a female. We call her Captain. I think it's a girl. She's got the idea. She's getting down in it. She's got the right idea. Soak the whole body in that cool water. Man, that probably feels good. Good job, girl. Good job. Mama Potato and babies need to go and walk about. It's time to get them out of there and let them play in the playpen and have some sunshine. Yeah. Come on, babies. Into the playpen area you go. There you go. I'll bring you some food and water in just a second. Y'all play with Mama. Yeah, come on out and say hi and play with Mama. I'll be right back. There you go, my love. <laughs> Kick it, scratch it, dump it, play with it. <laughs> hungry, hungry babies. We're just going to borrow the big chicken water for your playpen for now. Yeah, so y'all can have water. I'm going to get you some shade, too. Yeah, get you a drink, Mama. Since it is a very bright, hot day out today, it is probably the hottest part of the day, I'm gonna put this blanket partially over the side of the cage to create some shade for them. This is a little trick Avery invented a while back when she first started hatching out chicks and raising chicks. She thought, why don't I do what mama did for little miles and other babies when they were little and she's like I can just use the blanket and create like a tent area <laughs> which I thought was so cute the same tactics we use for human children can be used on animal babies no y'all don't fuss no I think for y'all enough I spoil y'all enough uh, alright 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 I'll go get one melon one you get one melon hold on hold on okay so now, we got that little tiny corner of shade, and they have their house. Right now, they're taking refuge in the house, so they have the house and the shade corner, and some food and water, and they're safe and they're good. I can go get these needy little other children of mine their treat before they throw a hissy fit. I have a few straggling old 
you can see not good melons that are just kind of deteriorating out here in the garden but good for feeding birds i can bust this one up and they will surely eat it all to pieces within seconds like piranha <laughs> Come on, goose, 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 come on, come on. Are y'all ready? Yeah, are y'all ready? Come on, goose, 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 here you go. There you go, come on, come get it, yeah, come get it. Happy now, huh, happy now, okay. Good job, babies. I do love watching birds. Like, I could sit here and watch them and just observe them. I can watch the mama lead her babies around and forage for food and I can watch these geese and turkeys eat and play with stuff just all day. I could sit here and watch birds all day long. They just fascinate me. <laughs> watching birds is peaceful and soothing. It's like therapy for me. It's so nice. I love watching what they do and how they act and it gives me insight on them too. It, um, if you watch your birds, it helps you to be better able to take care of them because you see their behaviors. And their mannerisms. I don't know if that makes sense, but it uh, it helps me to to please them more. <laughs> and we do love our birds, guys. Birds was uh, the first. I do believe that was the first farm animal we got. Might have been no, it might have been pigs and then chickens. But chickens were one of the first animals that we ever took care of, and that was uh, I think that was the best experience we ever had was chickens. It just kind of it was the whole romantic dream you know i have a chicken and now i got an egg and like it was just like magic for us at the time it was uh <laughs> it was so easy to care for them it was nice i loved waking up to them every morning and the first time i woke up to the sound of a rooster i was like i have a farm i am a farm woman <laughs> i felt successful you know it makes you feel good if you can care for a chicken or a duck or a goose if you can care for any any bird that belongs on a farm it's just uh makes it feel more farm-like you know <laughs> they're so easy to please they're so happy yep it's my therapy I'm watching a happy bird you know it's not it's not a good feeling when you see like birds you know caged up or if you were to go to like um I'm not knocking big industry I know we all need to feed the country and you know we all need all need food somehow <clears throat> so I'm not I'm um, not trying to diss the big egg you know or are people that do industrial chickens or, or chicken houses i'm not saying anything against them but it doesn't exactly please your heart to see that you know to walk in on a scene like that or to see a to see an unhappy chicken or a um or a bird in an environment that's not making them happy or to see like a sick goose or like a hurt duck you know it doesn't do a body good it doesn't do your mind and soul good to see an unhappy bird but that same feeling of like freedom and wonder that people get when they see like an eagle flying or they see a wild bird or an owl in their natural habitat and it's happy and it's healthy you know <clears throat> that feeling of the world is right you know everything is right so that goodness and that good feeling I get that every day when I come out here and look at my geese and my turkeys and my chickens like my world is right as long as my animals are happy I'm happy so yeah, I just love seeing them happy and healthy. And they tell me, they tell me when they're displeased with me. They tell me when they're super happy with me. I can see it on their little faces. I can tell. And it's just a good feeling. It wouldn't be a farm and it wouldn't be home without the birds. It, it just wouldn't be right. Yes, ma'am. Can I help you? You, you don't want the, the melon? No? You didn't want to go share the melon? Okay. What, what do you want? Do you want pet? Do you want snuggles? Hmm? Do you want love love? No? That's not what you want. Okay. Well, what do you want, baby? You want to play with my skirt? You can play with my skirt. Yeah, you can touch it. Yeah, you want to play with it? <laughs> you were just curious? Yeah, she's just curious. She's coming over here to check it out and see what this is all about. What is that? What is that? That's a skirt. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Tot, you too, huh? You gotta go see what, what the fuss is all about. May as well come see you too. Come on. Yeah. Y'all are missing out on the melon. The geese are getting it all. I'll give you some more treat later. I'll sneak you a treat. Don't worry. Love you. <laughs> Y'all are okay. Love you. Isn't that just about the prettiest rooster you ever seen? 
I've never had a silver laced Wyandotte rooster before. I've had silver laced Wyandotte hens, but never a rooster. Finally got me a silver laced Wyandotte rooster and he is gorgeous. He's flirting and trying to breed with this female, <laughs> with this Easter egg or hen. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's just fancy and well tempered, well mannered. He's a really nice rooster. Has a good sound, has a good presence, takes care of these ladies. He's not mean to them. He's a really good rooster. I, I like that wine dot. Yep, I want to have lots of his little children running around here one day. He fancy. So I was going to cut the grass, started to, and then the belt came off. The belt that engages the actual mowing part, the part that actually makes it mow. <laughs> the belt came off. So got to fix that. We need, uh, we keep having to air up the tire. We do need to actually, you know, put a permanent fix on that tire. So we got a little bit of a tire issue and a little bit of a belt issue. Hopefully we can fix both these issues today and then we'll be in business and maybe I can get some mowing done tonight or early in the morning, either one. I'll take either one, but I got to get the grass cut before we go because this grass is ridiculous. We haven't mowed in forever and I would like the grass cut before we go. We have somebody that's going to be tending to our animals and coming to take care of them uh, while we go on vacation. So... And we're leaving soon, so um, <laughs> it's time. Well, yeah, I think we're ready. I think we're fully stocked. Um, we've got a bale of hay, and we got, I think, all the feed we need. I'm just going to have to double check, make sure everything's stocked. I always do a list. For anyone that's going to take care of our animals, I always prepare a list. It's going to be indoor animals, outdoor animals, morning chores, nighttime chores. And I do a full list with detailed instructions and print it out and put it on the fridge or somewhere where they can see it, where everybody will know these are the instructions, go through the list, double check, you know. So everything's just mapped out and easy to understand. It just makes life easier for everybody involved. So I'm going to make sure I do that, make sure we're well stocked up on all supplies and everything we need. Everything's easily accessible, nothing's hard to get to, nothing's locked up. Um, just do all the double checks before we leave. But one of the things I wanted to get to was cutting the grass. So that's going to be my lovey's uh, assignment today. Wes is going to have to fix that belt on that mower for me so I can get to cutting some grass. Mm -hmm. So we did a thing, Sarah and I, and we went and got somebody a gift that really wanted it and <laughs> really needed it. Um, so Zach used to have a, a duck that he liked very much. He doesn't have that duck anymore and he needed some friends. So we got him some little friends. Hey Zach, what you doing? Feeding, no, watering my duck. <laughs> Duckies. Cause they're dirty. Got five babies, yep. Oh, so cute. I love them when they're still fuzzy. They're definitely eating. They weren't eating for a while. Okay. But they really figured good. that part out, huh? Mm -hmm. Good job. They look great. Yes, Mom. Hi. <laughs> you see the babies? You didn't get to see the ducklings. You want to see them? So Zach's a daddy now. I got five babies. Hello. And they're somewhere around a week old. Two max. Nice. Yeah. You know, gotta enjoy them while they're tiny like that because they don't stay tiny very long. They grow fast. I want them to get bigger. <laughs> Less work I have to do. Yep. When they're big enough to like roam around, you know, and walk around food. in the grass, I'm gonna get them a kitty pool so they can splash and play. <laughs> you like them, Miles? You pretty much don't have to do anything when geese grow up. Because <laughs> then feed them, water them, <laughs> and pet them. Don't forget that. You yeah, gotta, love, gotta them. love them and snuggle them. And we told Zach the more he loves on them, the more he snuggles on them, the more they'll love him and, and like him and want to follow him around. They're going to want to be wherever he is. That's what I want to happen. I was researching last night. I had to get him to bond with you and stuff. Mm hmm. Imprint to be yep to quote uh -huh. and geese do it too. If you raise a gosling from a baby, they'll imprint on you. That's kind of what Lily did with her geese. 
Mom. You see all their pretty chickens? Yeah. They got some pretty chickens. You go ahead. <laughs> okay, but you have to shut the door behind you or the chickens will get out, okay? okay. Make sure you shut the door behind you. Moving day, little guys. You're going to be happy inside, I promise. It's going to be fun. <laughs> I'm scared of everything right now. This is going to be Ducky's new home. That's a really cool setup. I like it. And it used to be iguanas, right? Monsters. Ah. Go. So now they get to wash the duckies and play with them inside. I want one of these. <laughs> Hi babies. Welcome to your new home. Yeah. They definitely found out where the water is. <laughs> and they'll eventually make it over to that food so they can mix the food and water. This is a good area. Lots of room to walk and play. This is gonna be really cool. Hi babies. You have fun with Zachary. You have fun with Daddy. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. And now Wes and I are at Walmart. We're shopping for journals for our daughters. And Miles got some notebooks too. He's in the buggy. He got his own little notebooks to do limb, but yeah. we're journal shopping. Can you want to show them? You want to show them? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Four. Four right. pack. Nice. Best one. This one takes Best the cake. Best one ever. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's Lily right there. That's yeah, her fidgety that's like, Lily. That takes the cake right there. Yes. That's a journal. That's a journal. That is a journal right there. <laughs> but we got to pick out ones we think they will like. They're not with us right now, so we're going to do our best. And we're going to pick the ones that we think fit them, suit them the best. And uh, so, and we got a few more things to grab here today uh, yep. before we go on our journey. We have a few more things to collect and make sure we get last minute things. Also, we already stopped by Tractor Supply and got the things we need to repair the mower and put the belt back on and all that fun stuff so I can cut the grass tomorrow. So let's get to shopping, love. Oh, you found something fun. Look at that. He found something fun, y'all. Look at that. Look, look. Here's oh, my journal oh, right here. That's yours. You got a whole, all your letters and numbers back that's here. That's Wes's journal right like, there. This is mine right here. This is, this is my cup of tea right here. <laughs> Is that yeah, satisfying? it <laughs> is. It is. I wouldn't even journal in it. I would yeah. just play with it. Makes like I would never write in it. He's a very fidgety person. Look, it's got. He fidgets. Yeah, never. It's got all the letters on the back. You can peel off and, and stick and spill That's whatever you want. That's pretty cool, huh, bud? That's cool. Yeah. You have to get me one of these. I will get you one of those a different day. That's for your sister today, but we'll get one for you a different day. All right, guys. I love you. We're gonna keep shopping, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.